I'm here with David from Foundation DB. They have uh, what they're calling the unbreakable database. David, tell me more about it. Yeah, well, we've brought an exhibit here to show to uh, actually have people try to break our database. So we've got a power strip, we've got a network switch, and we're telling people to unplug the cables and turn off the power and actually watch our distributed database self-heal while that happens. Interesting, can you, um, I know you probably can't divulge all the secret all sauce, the secret. <laughs> but give me a basic idea of how you guys are self-healing. So we're sort of part of this new breed of databases in the market now called NoSQL databases, which are sort of built from the ground up to work on sort of a distributed architecture. So you can deploy them in the cloud, you can run them on a bunch of commodity servers, and uh, they're designed to be fault tolerant, to store the data in a replicated way. So uh, we're sort of part of that breed and use some of those design concepts. Interesting, and you're calling it uh, uh, Yes Acid? Yeah, no, NoSQL is a well-known word, but Yes Acid is our little uh, marketing spin on that. And the reason for that is the big thing that we bring that no other NoSQL database does is we bring full acid transactions. And that's a technology that comes over from the relational database world. Uh, MySQL, Oracle, technologies like that, they have this ability to have transactional integrity. So when you make modifications to the data in the database, everything stays completely consistent. So uh, we're the only NoSQL database that actually provides that full ACID guarantee. So that's why we say yes, ACID. Nice, nice, nice. Now uh, tell me, what kind of person should be, or what, what kind of company should be using Foundation DB? Well, one of the reasons we're here at TechCrunch Disrupt is because the room around us here is just full of uh, little startups all building their applications on some sort of some sort of platform and at the bottom of that platform there's some data technology. Maybe they've cobbled it together themselves, maybe they're using MongoDB, maybe they're using MySQL, but we want them all to be using FoundationDB and we think it's an ideal tool and technology for them because it can grow and scale as they grow and scale and still provide a lot of the sort of solid guarantees that you want as the foundation of your platform, your product. So based on that, uh, what's been kind of the response that you've been getting here? Have people come by and been like, sign me up today or? Yeah, well we actually, we had, a, we had an article written about us in TechCrunch yesterday, so we had a just slew of emails uh, last night with alpha requests for part of our alpha program. So that's been an awesome, and we've had a lot of people here on the show floor really interested in the demo that we're doing, and you know, their eyes caught by the, you know, break my database, you know, what's that? So uh, they, they want to play with it, and then they want to hear more about it, and I think they like what they hear, yeah. Very cool, so when do you guys uh, officially plan on being a full-featured product that uh, every consumer can come in and purchase? Yeah, well, I think we're shooting to have a sort of publicly downloadable beta by this year, and uh, you know, at that point, you'll be able to go to our website and really see sort of a clearer vision of the ecosystem that we're trying to cre produce and uh, and have the product ready to go. Yeah. Very cool. Now, there's a lot of people out there that couldn't make it to TechCrunch today. Is there anything that you'd like to say to them? Not just uh, if you're interested in this technology, go check out our website, foundationdb.com. We got a lot of tech details on there if you're a real database nerd. Um, and uh, feel free to you know write us with questions and all that stuff. Yeah, write these guys. They're pretty cool. It's no sequel, yes acid. David, thank nice you so much. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck at TechCrunch. Thanks. Thank you.